What you like? Okay. Hey, I want an eight or twelve ounce cup. Uh, yeah, with me. It's in that thermos at the end of the counter. Milk, sugar, lids are on the counter, or there's a place to down the other end of the stand if you want to stay here. Thank you. W E L S H. Bill Welch. That's close enough. Grew up in San Francisco in the Monterey Peninsula. Back before World War II, we didn't know what the word pollution or overpopulation was. <laughs> Been in business here since October 1947, when the population of Tucson was less than 50,000. 90% of the county activities were right here in this building, including the jail. First four or five guys that'll be waiting to come in, I say, are street people, but the regulars will be filtering in and between about 7.30 and 10.15 after 8, there'll be a lot of regulars. We better coffee in town, buddy. Better coffee in town. When I first come to the courthouse, somebody will walk and tipsy down the street, $10 or 10 days, out to the old city prison farm. <laughs> Panhandling stuff they'd arrest them <laughs> now it costs too much there's too many of them they don't enforce it anymore <laughs> yeah of course if that one day the mayor was going to give a speech out in the park the cops was out there and <laughs> one old man they took his bottle and they drained it on the grass <laughs> <laughs> A month ago, they had a justice court case up there where uh, the, uh, the domestic violence deal, the guy was in handcuffs, and as I get the story, he jumped across the table and was choking his girlfriend right there in court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took, the deputy had to <laughs> rescue the gal, yeah. A large coffee, please. 42. We operate with two milk pitchers and two sugar deals, you know, when you're running a one-man show, it saves time. Very efficient, small sale, high-speed operation, yeah. Mm. Of course, since I'm blind, it would be very slow and very impractical for me to be pouring cups with this modified thermos that people can help themselves. diagnosed as a relatively uncommon disease, Eels disease, E-A-L-S. But that's of no importance. I had internal eye hemorrhages when I was 21 and uh, gradually lost it. Okay, that water is getting uh, probably getting near to a boil. I got other things done. I got to pull these little filter chains down. As I say, this equipment's hardly available anymore. Very expensive if you did buy it. <laughs> now, Francisca here, he's a retiree. It's come in in recent months from the Southern Pacific and gets his cup about this time every day. Goes on his way. Thank you. Well, of course, the backbone of the business is the employees that work here and in the neighborhood. We have business from some other buildings. Of course, an important part of your business that kind of puts the gravy on it is the uh, people coming down here to do business, you know, the public in general. Is that a one? You have a, lar you have a dollar or a larger bill? That's all. How big a bills he got here, Kevin? You got, a, you got a five there, Bill. All right, thank you. I even 
and dream once in a while I'm driving a car on rare occasions. <laughs> but uh, things like uh, buildings and trees and landscapes, they stay very definitely in your mind. But uh, people's faces fade after a while. You know what I mean? Sometimes you dream that somebody's somebody, but you don't see them. You know what I mean? You know they're there, that they're John Brown or something, but you don't actually see them. Yeah. I don't know how these kids make out that have been blind since birth, you know what all the hazards of life are, automobiles on the streets. Or, you know what I mean? Oh, things are hard to learn about, because I saw it when I was 21, so I know what the work is. Well, I'd probably be shocked today the way the women dress or... <laughs> another probably quite a surprise this uh, this girl here is is deaf that works up in justice court that might be of interest to you you know it's difficult to speak if you've been deaf since birth you know what I mean that's quite a chore yeah When the water gets to a boil, in these old style silexes, the water will come up and circulate amongst the coffee. I'll leave them up there for a couple of minutes. Probably the only guy in town with these stainless steel silex pots. Everybody's gone to the automatic hot water drip deals. I'm beginning to feel it. Feel like, way. Feel like what? I got some, so many pennies on it. You can give them to us. Give me even numbers, 5, 10, or 15. I'll give you a bigger money for it if you want it. Something will knock me out someday, but uh, might find things to do at home for five or six months. But, you know, not driving, a, like I tell several of these people around here, not driving a car like I used to be able to when I could see why coming and going as I want, why I might be in semi-isolation, get bored after five or six months. Matter of fact, I've known several retirees that uh, come back and work part-time in their department for something to do. Right. After a year or two, got bored, nothing to do. With a woman, she still got her housework. With a man, he, unless he has an awful lot of hobbies or something special to do, he... Now, I have a couple of acres in the country. Things to do at home, you could keep occupied but for a while, but be bored. I'm... Yes, what did you want to get? A large coffee, please. 42. Thank you.